Simple past. Overview of verbs in the simple past tense. Today, I will review when to use the simple past tense, the difference between regular and irregular verbs in the past tense, and how to form the simple past of most regular verbs. We will also see that some regular verbs must take, we must add or change letters before adding the ed. We use the simple past tense for action that was completed at a specific time in the past. Both of these things must be true. Here, they walked to the park yesterday. The action walking was completed in the past. They walked yesterday. Regular verbs take ed to form the simple past. Most verbs are regular, so it is easy to form the simple past. Here are some examples from Unit 3. The verb listen takes ed to become listened. Clean takes ed to become cleaned. Look takes ed and is looked. Irregular verbs do not follow a pattern, so we must learn the word to be able to use it in the simple past. The past tense verb can look very different than the simple base form of the verb. I gave you a list of irregular verbs. These are some examples from Unit 3. Eat, ate, buy, bought, drive, drove, have, had, take, took. For regular verbs, we add an, the ed to the base form to form the simple past. That is the basic rule. Remember, the base form is the form of the verb with no endings. It is the way you look for the word in a dictionary. For regular verbs that end in the letter e, only add the d. Look at these examples. Live ends in the letter e, so we only add a d. Close ends in the letter e, so we only add a d. Prove ends in e, and we only add the d. For regular verbs ending in y, we change the y to an i, and then we add ed. So here, dry is the consonant r plus y. We change the y to an i and add ed. Remember that a consonant is any letter that is not a vowel. Study, the consonant is d plus the y. We change the y to an i and add ed. Studied. For regular verbs ending in a vowel plus a consonant, double the final consonant and then add ed. Double means you repeat the letter. So here, shop, it ends in an o, p, o is the vowel, p is the consonant. We double the p, so we add a p to, and then ed, shopped, plan, we double the N, so add an N, and then add ED. Stop. We double the P, so add the P plus the ending ED. There may be different rules for verbs that are two or more syllables, such as prefer or entered, but we will learn these later. I hope this overview was helpful. Please ask me questions and we will continue to practice using and forming the simple past verb tense.